Hey everyone, this is Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. We're in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 14 and 15 and uh, so excited to be with you here today in the Phillips translation and it says this, yet you must go on steadily in all these things that you have learned and which you know are true. Remember from what sort of people your knowledge has come and how from early childhood your mind has been familiar with the Holy Scripture which can open the mind to the salvation which comes through believing in Christ Jesus. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, I pray for steadiness. I pray for steadiness, that dogged determination, one step after another step after another step. As I've been reading a lot about how our lives are shaped by habits, I'm reminded that this is very powerful, but we don't remember that those little things Those little decisions every day add up to a cumulative life of faithfulness. And so we pray for steady feet to walk steady paths of obedience in every possible way. And especially in the the places where nobody sees, those little places, those places of integrity, those places where um, only you can see us and know what's going on. We want to honor you in the secret place You are the God who rewards in secret, and we want to acknowledge that you are that God, and we want to honor you with the integrity of our lives. We don't want to sin with our mouths, Lord. We want to um, honor you with our lips. And Lord, I know that it says in James that if we're able to control our tongue, we can control a lot, (laughs) and that most people can't, that it's a restless evil. And so, Lord, I I pray today for those who are struggling with taming their tongue, that you would give us the unction and the ability to just simply stop talking when we need to. Because as we know, um, when there's lots of words, there's lots of sin. So Lord, I pray for that steadiness, steadiness of feet, steadiness of our mouth, steadiness of our heart, that Lord, you would show us um, scripture today that will um, desperately and wonderfully speak to our situation today. I mean, maybe we need to reread Psalm 1. Maybe we need to go into the Gospels. Maybe we need to be reminded of your holiness in Romans. Maybe it is that we need your wisdom from Proverbs. Lord, just show the person listening today the exact pathway you want them to take in the scriptures today. And would you just encourage them? Would you bring courage to my friend today who maybe is weary or feeling weak? And I just thank you so much that our weariness and our weakness is the dance floor for you to do the best work. You dance your best steps on the on the dance floor of our weakness because then you can be strong. It's not a detriment to be weak. It is actually the best place to be because it causes us to turn to you. So help us not to despise um, obscurity. Help us not to despise those small places. Help us not to despise our weakness, but to see it as an avenue for you to do your best work. Um, Lord, help us to become so familiar with the Holy Scriptures that we can discern what's wrong. Lord, we want our minds to be opened up to the possibility of what you could do in this world, and I know that that comes through reading your Scriptures, especially in reading your Gospel. Lord, I'm so grateful. We're going to be going through the Gospel of Mark starting February. Um, what a great thing just to see you in action, Jesus, and what you've done and how you react and, and how you loved people and how you spoke to the Pharisees even with truth. You spoke the truth in love and all those examples. And so, Lord, I love your scripture, and I'm thankful that we're going to take a journey through the Gospels. Lord, I pray for the person who's struggling today in a relationship, and I pray that you would shed some light, you would bring um, a holy discernment on what needs to be repented of on their side, and also maybe what kind of boundaries need to be created, or if it's time to pull away, or if it's time to push forward. Lord, I cannot make that decision for my friend today, but you can show them the next step. And so I pray for that specifically, that you would show um, what it is the next step is in that difficult relationship. Because as our relationships go, so our happiness goes goes, Lord. So I pray your light would shed on those dark places in relationship. And I thank you that you are good enough and you love us so much that you want to be that relational God who leads us into all truth in our relationships. We trust you for the difficult ones today. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day. In a couple days, we're going to celebrate a year. I'm so excited. So uh, 
please be tuning in on February 1st. You're going to hear some testimonies from around the world, and I'm really excited about celebrating that. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.